Um, so we got a little bit more information, people. A little bit more information. Give me one second. The information seems to be about the altercation or incident that happened that led to the arrest of, um, that led to the arrest of Rod Wave. So apparently this is what happened. It says footage has surfaced of the Easter shooting that got Rod Wave and his affiliates arrested where four people were injured in, okay? Now, let's just try to play this. Okay, damn, they got audio, shit. Usually these don't have audio. <laughs> Nigga, what the fuck? <laughs> Nigga, what in the hell? Nigga, this is some Florida shit. Yo, these niggas walked up. Yo, this niggas walked up like a 2000s boy band. And then just start letting off. Look. Look. The way this nigga was walking, nigga, I thought this nigga was on some, you know what I mean? This nigga was switching his hips and shit. Nigga went from switching his hips to pulling out a switch. What the hell? You can see that. You can see he started letting off. This guy started letting off here. This got to be a fake video. Ain't no way this is a real video. This got to be a fake. The crazy thing, they said this nigga is Rod Wave right here. The only, the only way you could identify Rod Wave is just because he's fat as hell. Yo, I ain't going to lie to you. It got to suck. Listen, this is another reason I couldn't be a criminal. Nigga, if I'm fatter than the rest of the people who are criminals with me, nigga, you're easily pointed out. Everybody's skinny. You the only fat nigga. Nigga, you look like a wide load. Everybody else just looks skinny. Hell no, nah, I'm good. I, I don't think that. No way this is a raw wave. What the fuck? <laughs> Did somebody die? Like, who are they shooting at? Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yo, yo, I hope this is a fake video. Please. I, I don't know if this is real. Please, I hope it's a fake. Yo, Rod Wave, you getting way too much money to do some shit like this, bro. The craziest thing is, Rod Wave walked up like he was Meek Mill. If if, if this is Rod Wave, I don't know if it's him. Because I don't think he shot at nobody. I think he just walked up just to witness the shit. Like, on some. All right, man. Y'all know, niggas know why y'all on payroll? Go ahead. Shoot them niggas. Shoot them. Look, he looked like he was down to die about the issue. Him right here. Rod Wave right here. And then this nigga, he looked like he been, he couldn't wait to use his gun all week. Then three other niggas over here. The craziest thing is, the Rod Wave got a real, I, this, this ain't real. Is this real? Look, I think he walked up to witness the shooting. Look. Look, now they're all shooting. I don't, he's here. You can see this guy's arm extended. This guy over here. You can see flashes coming from what, what we would think is a gun. There's a, another guy right here. Looks like he's shooting. This guy, I don't know if he's shooting. But this is Rod Wave allegedly right here. It got to suck to be the only fat nigga in the crew. Um, yeah, he, he don't look like he's shooting at all. He actually just looks like he, he sees the shit. But like, all right, it's time for me to go back there. Uh, I'm making a lot of money. Y'all niggas going to kill each other. Good luck to y'all niggas. I'm going to catch y'all in the next life, all right? <laughs> Look like that's what it was. It said four was injured. Really? Oh, so this is real. No, it's not. Rod Wave. No way. Nigga. Th what the fuck? What the fuck? Man with ties. What the hell? Hold on, we going to figure this Rod Wave arrested with weapons as charges. As police accuse him of ties to Florida gang shooting. Rod Wave ain't in no gang. Rod Wave in a gang? Since when? Yo, that, yo, that nigga, that nigga be singing my favorite song, Hard on Ice, like shit like that. Like, Rod Wave ain't not no gang member.
What the hell? Oh, it is real. People wounded and cars riddled with bullet holes. What the fuck? Breaking big developments in a recent shooting in St. Pete that left four people wounded and cars riddled with no. bullet holes. No. Breaking now, St. Pete police believe it's tied to a violent group of drug traffickers. Oh, I got that gun. I got this shit right here. Why should I got this, this? I got all these guns. Only thing that difference in Jersey is that I think in Florida you could have like a hundred round clip on this shit. In Jersey, you're gonna keep that bitch to ten. That's the only difference with Jersey. Hmm. Nice guns. Okay. And a local rapper. Good evening. I'm Stacy Scheibel. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us. Well, we begin tonight. Y'all want to show you? I can't show you. I'll give in. Uh, yo, I'm, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm about to do a, like, the only thing is, the only reason why I don't show my guns to is because, like, I'm always, like, going back and forth with somebody, and again, I'm non-violent, so, like, I, you know, I don't want any time, like, for example, imagine me going back and forth with Meek, and then all of a sudden I show 50 guns, nigga's going to look like I'm about to kill a nigga, like, that's not the case. I like guns. I like guns. I believe in the Second Amendment. My guns ain't for any type of threatening. These are all legal guns, all in my name. They're all registered to me. Um... So that, that's why I don't really show them online because I'm always beefing with a nigga and I never want people to think, oh, acting he tough, he's showing it a gun. Like, not, no way. You feel what I'm saying? Damn, okay. Damn. This shit really real. And I'm Keith Kate. Thank you for joining us. Well, we begin tonight with Georgia MacArthur. She is in St. Pete Live. Georgia, the police chief, just provided some new details on the connections to that Easter Sunday shooting. Yes, that's right, Stacy. Police believe that the group of men involved in the shooting identify as YG or young gangsters. Investigators say the suspects involved in the shooting are part of the entourage of Rodarius Green, a local artist, a local rap artist who goes by Rod Wave. They were able to identify a group of individuals that uh, have a street moniker of YG or uh, young gans or youth young gangsters. Police announced a big breakthrough in their investigation after four people were shot on Sunday outside Sonic Bar and Lounge in St. God Kingsburg. damn. Now, chat, let me ask you a question. This is going to be an ignorant question, so I want you to be very careful how you answer. Actually, I know y'all are trolls, so y'all ain't going to answer it truthfully. Rod Wave is one of the only niggas who pulled up without a gun. I don't know if he talk gangster, but is that gangster? Or maybe he the kingpin. But I ain't gonna lie. If I'm the kingpin, I would be like, yo, put me on FaceTime. Actually, don't put me on FaceTime. That's how you get caught. Nigga, I'm gonna catch y'all niggas on the news, nigga. Bro. I don't wanna see shit y'all got niggas got going on. Fuck that. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. That nigga, he walked up to see the shooting, though. I gotta be honest. Man, you know how Meek Mill jumped out the car and his homies did the work? He walked up and his homies did the shooting. Is that gangster or should he have bust his guns too? I ain't gonna lie. I seen, I seen, I definitely seen on camera that nigga, that nigga Blueface shoot at a nigga. Blueface was shoot at a nigga, apparently shot a nigga in the hand. Then he rapped about shooting a nigga. Blueface is really kind of gangster. I ain't gonna lie to you. Blueface is kind of like that guy. I'm sorry. Y'all realize why I squashed my beef for Blueface? The nigga could box and he shoot? Man, that's a, that's an L for me. Hell no. He don't even have a struggle. The nigga just, he do everything. That nigga like, he a, yo, he a multi-purpose gangster. He shoot niggas and box niggas. I'm good. And he like 6'8". I'm good. I seen that nigga on camera shooting a nigga, and I seen him box a couple niggas. I'm straight. Usually rappers can't box, but they shoot. Yeah, that nigga Blueface multifaceted. I had to leave that nigga alone after that. That nigga was trolling me. I was like, nigga, stop trolling me. I'm trying to be your friend at this point. <laughs> yo, yo, is this pussy or not? Y'all got to tell me. But I, I am the king of the pussy nigga association. Yo, you ever trying to befriend the, the toughest nigga in school? Just that he could fuck other niggas up for you? I don't want no goddamn beef with no blue face. I thought blue face was, I thought blue face was playing. <laughs> now, I'm going to be honest. Like, little baby, I think he's really not like that. 
Look, this is the difference I keep telling y'all. Once I started hearing this shit about, about, about King Von, I knew he liked that. I, I won't play with him. Meek, I ain't hear nothing about this nigga that made me be like, oh, don't mess with Meek Mill. I'm like, all I keep hearing about him is bullshit. Little baby, I hear that nigga is frail as hell, and all you got to do is hug him. You know what I mean? Just give him one of the little Michael Rubin hugs, and he'll be good. You know what I mean? A reverse Oreo joint would be great. But I is this gangster? Why did Rod Wave walk up when all your homies got guns to shoot and you didn't shoot? What the fuck? This is kind of odd. Police announced a big breakthrough in their investigation after four people were shot on Sunday outside Sonic Bar and Lounge in St. Petersburg. That chaos was captured on camera. Police say the men they arrested are acquaintances of local rapper Rodarius Green, who goes by Rod Wave. Keith Wesley, uh, Christopher Atkins, and Cavantre Wesley. Investigators say they seized rifles, handguns. Oh, at least they couldn't arrest him because he didn't shoot. Mm. But I guarantee the enemies, the niggas they were shooting at saw his face. So they know Rod Wave. Yo, Rod Wave, you're making too much money, bro. Yo, Rod Wave, respectfully, bro. I don't like, I mean, you do got kind of got like a hood audience still. But, bro, you making $400,000 a show. You selling out the Barclays, bro. Please don't do this shit, bro. Please, nigga. I'm not even in your family, nigga. But I just want to tell you, as somebody who loves seeing black men do really good things, you don't get the most positive press. You don't get the most press. You not somebody who even looks like they belong in the music industry. And I'm saying that respectfully because back in the day, actually, I talk about this with Enes on my, on my upcoming interview. Like, Fat niggas was not getting, like, nigga, you look like Ruben Stutter, Stutter Light, nigga. Like, yeah, the reason why Ruben Stutter never made it, he could sing, but he was fat. Nobody wanted to fuck him. You feel me? And usually fat niggas don't get a chance. So you one of the fat niggas that's working out here. Bro, I know you're getting $400,000 a show. I don't know what beef you got with some other niggas, but please, 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 this behavior, you need to stop. Please don't throw away your blessings for some dumb shit. Nigga, you making... You making millions a month just by doing a few shows. Please don't do this, some dumb shit like this. Or please stay out of where you're from. I know you're from St. Petersburg. Stay out of there. Stay out of there. Why are you there? I don't know. Ammo and jewelry from inside homes rented by Green or one of his businesses. Those individuals senselessly fired on people. Uh, we don't really understand why. Uh, we know that initially. This is going to be bad, chat. Actually, a fifth subject. This is going to be bad. He walked up with them. He didn't fire, so they can't charge him initially. But but he's going to be looking at a RICO charge. He's going to be looking at a RICO charge. I'm going to tell you why. They're going to believe that the way he even moved in that situation, he's operating like a mob boss. People were shot on Sunday. He's operating like a mob boss. Hey, I got my shooters. I'm the boss. I tell them they do it, but I don't got no gun in my hand, so you can't charge me. You charge them. I pay for the lawyers, blah, blah, blah. We make witness disappear. They're going to beat the case. The way how the feds or the way how local government get away with that, get around that, they hit people with RICO charges. A word? Cool. So y'all are a gang. We're going to go get y'all. Raw Wave, be very careful. I'm going to tell you another thing. The news just pointed it out. They, they arrested these guys, which means they probably did search warrants or raided their houses. And when they raided their houses, they found a lot of jewelry that seemingly you bought. That seemingly maybe you're financing this shit. And when people are pre proving RICO charges, all they got to do is prove that you're in a position of power. You call the shots. Secondly, they got to prove that you're financing this whole situation and Thirdly, they got to prove that there's actually crimes that are being committed and there's clearly a crime that got committed on camera. So let's just hear this part again. So Rod Wave, you need to chill out and fix up because you might not got arrested, but you probably now got the attention because this is being covered on the news. This is a RICO. That's how RICOs are. Kins and Cavantre Wesley. Investigators say they seized rifles, handguns, ammo, and jewelry from inside homes rented by Green or one of his businesses. Look, from Green or one of his businesses. Now, here's the thing. Um, Rod Wave's name is Rod Arius Green. 
His last name is Green. So that's him. Now, they issued a search warrant. They issued a search warrant for where these individuals claim to stay. That's another thing why it's built for Rico. You're paying the rent for where these guys stay. You own the properties for where they stay. Goes into them making a case that you're funding this. They're staying at your place. There's jewelry and other things that probably seem, I don't know what gang. I didn't even know that nigga Robbie was in a gang. I'm pretty sure one of these little symbols or watches or rings are going to have a symbol of whatever gang they think y'all are in. They're finding jewelry, high price items in houses that you're paying for because you own that. Your name's on it. These guys are basically folded up under an organization that they're going to say you're funding. You're about to get a recall. You're about to get a recall. And I'm going to just be honest with y'all, man. All y'all rappers, y'all been watching that young thug shit. Please stop doing the dumb shit. Just please stop it. Please stop it. I'm telling y'all this because I, 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 I really like Rod Wave musically. You're making $400,000 a show. You shouldn't be doing this shit. Period. Because you know what happens? You get locked up. You get charged with a Rico. Everybody start playing, acting dumb. Nobody took responsibility. Nobody told you to your face. Bruh. You shouldn't even be walking with no niggas who about to, come on, bro. Unless your life was threatened now. Let me be, be very clear with that. I don't know the full situation. We're seeing a piece of a video. Who knows? Maybe niggas, shit, maybe self-defense. It don't look like self-defense, but maybe it is. I don't know. But I'm just saying, Rod Wave, you got a lot to live for. You got a lot that you got going on in your life. Man, please don't trick yourself out of your position by going back to your hood or going back to where you're from doing gangster shit with your homies and probably you in your mind saying, well, I ain't had no gun in my hand. Well, they charge you for gun possession because they raided your crib and they they raided places. And, and, and by the way, he probably is going to beat that, but there's going to be a Rico charge coming anyway. They raided places that your name is on and it's probably not your gun because they, they, they probably didn't catch you on the scene. They, they executed warrants afterwards they found guns at properties that your name is listed on and you're not supposed to have guns allegedly and they charged you, but it's probably your homie's guns, right? And yeah, you could get off with that, but what they're going to say is that nigga, you're financing this whole shit. Shit's fucked up, bro. Those individuals senselessly fired on people. Uh, we don't really understand why. Uh, we know that initially a fifth subject who's going to be charged as well with principal had uh, a beef with an individual at that location, and he called those four individuals over. Oh, important. You hear what they said? I, uh, we know that initially a fifth subject who's going to be charged as well with principal had uh, a beef. They're saying that Rod Wave had a beef with somebody over here, and he called over four individuals. With an individual. Let, let's see if we can see them. Uno, he's a shooter. Dos, shooter. Tris, shooter. He had four shooters, and this guy didn't shoot from what I see. Look, this guy starts shooting first. Location. All right, sorry, Chad. He starts shooting first. You, you see that flash? Shots. This guy raises his hand. Shots. This guy right here, you know what I mean? He's, he's shooting. And there's another guy here who's also shooting as well. The only guys not shooting, this guy and Raw Wave, which you should probably, the cops are probably trying to find him because if, you know, Raw Wave is probably going to, they're going to look at Raw Wave as a kingpin. They're going to look at him as, yo, you ain't shoot. We ain't really going to fuck with you, but you got to snitch on these guys. Who are these guys? Did this would, this would corroborate a Rico. Did Raw Wave come over the aisle and be like, come shoot these niggas for me? If this guy says yes, easy Rico. It's over. Now, according to investigators, the three suspects were driving cars registered to either Rod Wave or his businesses. Reporting. That's another thing. Everything ties back to you or your record labels or the businesses that your record labels operate under. This is a Rico.
Now, Florida has hit artists with Rico. Let me just finish this. St. Petersburg, Georgia MacArthur, eight on your side. Hot boy. Rico. He got caught in the Rico. Florida's using the Rico to charge people more and more. Okay? There's a lot of people. I think Glock 9, see, Glock 9 also got hit with that. Glock 9 got hit with a Rico. Hot Boy got hit with a Rico. They're, they're hitting Florida artists with Ricos, man. Man, these, these artists should be careful. And Rod Wave, you got a lot, you got a lot going on, man. All your homies. They're driving your cars. That's another thing, too. You know, they got a rule here in Jersey. Unless that car is stolen, they don't even chase you too crazy. They're not, this ain't GTA. Nigga, if that car not reported stolen, if you run from the cops after a certain day, they'll let you go. Go ahead. Un unless you, like, did some shit, crazy shit with a gun. They're not letting you go. If you did some crazy shit with a gun. But if you some other shit, uh, they'll let you go. They're not trying to cause it, whatever. But they got your license plate. You know what they're going to do? They put out a felony warrant for whoever who owns the car. That's how it works. So if you gave your man's, the, if, if you lent your man's the car, you have a warrant now. They're arresting you. It's on you. You could be thugged out all you want. Oh, I ain't do it, blah, blah, blah. They're going to eventually find out who was in that car. But they immediately put out a warrant for who owns the car. They give you a warrant for evading the police. And it's a felony, at least in Jersey. You get what I'm saying? They not like listen, all that, all that like LA shit where you see helicopters above, 20 cars, merging niggas. They don't do that in Jersey. They don't do that shit in Jersey. Okay, nigga, we got your license plate. We're gonna we're gonna go lock your mama up and we're gonna have your mama up in a cell. And in Jersey, there's no bail. Let me I'll tell you what that means. Which means for certain crimes, if you meet certain statutes, there is no way to get out of jail. There's no way. You got to sit there until the trial. They'll just have you sit there for two years. You don't care. So that's their way of telling people, we ain't about to play with y'all. Like, all right, go ahead. We ain't chasing you. Go ahead, fool. So I say that to say, I don't know how Florida gives it up, but Rod Wave, I'm doing some simple math with you. You have all your shooters living in apartments you own. You have all your shooters with jewelry worth tens of thousands of dollars with your logos. You have your shooters driving in cars that you pay the insurance, the car note, and you have to maintain. You got all your shooters who don't even look around and say, oh, there's a camera. We can't shoot them here. They just shoot in front of the camera. Get away from these guys or you smarten up and you stop doing bullshit. Because if you think that nobody cares about getting like some average hood nigga in Florida locked up. You know who they want to get locked up? The big dog. You're, you're Rod Wave. You're the millionaire. You're the multimillionaire. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to just say that. I really thought this was some fake shit. This is wild. Black Bonnie, you're right. You said this is just one shooting caught on camera. They're going to have 15 other shootings if niggas is like that. And when they put you on the Rico case, well, this seems self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure they're going to get one guy to... Bruh. Anyway, uh, like... Sometimes I feel like I'm being preachy and um Man at the end of the day people gotta make their decisions, man. But I thought this was fake, bro. Like, come on, dog. Like, are you serious? It's like no way you're fucking serious. It's like no way you're fucking serious. This is sad. 
You know the crazy thing about rap? This ain't, this ain't my page, but imagine if I post this on my page, your nigga say, yo, act, you a rat. Yo, act, why you putting this out? You a rat. Yo, act, you a rat. Yo, like, bro, you getting hot for the feds. Niggas will literally see a camera. Be like, oh, word? All right, bet. Time to shoot. <laughs> Let me post this. So, you know what everybody say? Yo, act, you snitching on niggas, bro. This is crazy, dog. Bro, this is why we don't fuck with niggas like you and Vlad, man. Y'all niggas be snitching, man. Like, y'all niggas always be on some police shit, man.